Hi, I'm Chris Kemp and welcome to the Kemp IT Law vlog. This vlog is about part three of the DPDI number two bill, the significant, if slightly underreported, smart data proposals. These rules haven't received as much attention as the proposed changes to the UK's data protection regime, but we think they're potentially highly significant for companies which hold lots of data about their customers. They also quietly echo some of the very bold EU reforms taking shape in the Data Act, which will be reassuring for those concerned that the UK is falling too far behind the EU's emerging vision for a digital future. So what's happening? Well, tucked away in part three of the bill are two regulation-making powers giving the Secretary of State and the Treasury the ability to make regulations relating to access to customer data and business data. In essence, what's being proposed is the legal foundation to the expansion of open banking reform to other sectors of the economy, telecoms, utilities, and non-bank financial services, for example. The idea is that the powers will eventually be used to stimulate the creation of innovative new services. The examples suggested are automatic switching services for utilities, holistic personal finance ma management platforms, and better bill splitting for renters. But implementing the smart data rules will come with a price tag for affected businesses. The government's impact assessment gives a best estimate cost of around £600 million for the UK telecom sector to implement the changes. What's next? Well, part three of the DPDI bill needs to be enacted for these rules to go ahead. Then the government will need to bring in the regulations, so all of this is potentially some way off, but it's interesting to see how open data is shaping up beyond the boundaries of open banking. Thanks for watching. For more vlogs and vlogs, visit our website at kempitlaw.com.